And liftoff. Liftoff of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Rockets. They're the most well-known way of getting into space, but also incredibly expensive. To offer a cheaper alternative, NASA uses technology that feels more at home in 1912 than 2012. Scientific balloons are uh, a low-cost, uh, effective way of taking science instruments up into the stratosphere above 99% of the atmosphere to take a look at the heavens. These balloons are capable of flying as high as 130,000 feet with payloads up to 8,000 pounds. Uh, we have had uh, one design that can go up to 160,000 feet. Balloon flights uh, typically last uh, from hours to days. We have some that go from days to weeks and we're working on uh, flight systems that can fly for several months, up to 100 days. At the end of the mission, there, there's a command sent and it actually destroys the balloon. The payload comes down. Now the payloads can be reflown uh, numerous times, refurbished, uh, improved, and reflown. The balloons are filled about one-tenth of the way with helium. As they ascend into the atmosphere, the density of helium increases, causing the balloon to increase in volume up to 40 million cubic feet, or about the size of the Louisiana Superdome. The balloon is inflated, uh, and that process can take up to an hour to inflate the balloon. Uh, it's released from uh, what we call the spool. Uh, the balloon stands up over the payload. Uh, the payload is released, and uh, off it goes on a, about a three-hour trip to the stratosphere. NASA launches between 15 and 20 balloons a year. The majority are science-related, but businesses are also signing up to fly their own payloads. One balloon experiment, called Sunrise, contained a solar telescope that took pictures of the sun in detail that had never before been achieved. Balloon missions typically cost between $250,000 to $1 million to launch, which is a big cost savings over a $100 million rocket trip. Balloon flights are a very cost-effective way of doing space science. Uh, as opposed to doing a space mission, it could be 10 to 100 times less flying on a balloon. The long-term potential for scientific ballooning is, is pretty exciting for, because of the development of new uh, science instruments, looking at flying for much longer periods of time so you pay for the development and get much longer flights, and then there's the potential of flying in other uh, atmospheres within the solar system, you know, uh, Titan, uh, Mars, Venus, so uh, the potential of balloons is quite exciting. But don't get too excited. There's still one thing that can hop a ride on these balloons. The NASA balloon program does not do manned missions. For CNN Money, I'm Matt Stewart.